Hey guys, I'm Lucas. Welcome to K News about the upcoming Atlas V launch for the National Reconnaissance Office. The rocket was stacked together a few weeks ahead of time and consists of a liquid-fueled first stage, two strap-on boosters on the side and the center upper stage with one engine. To complete the key only the four misses, which of course stands for the formidable white fairing harboring the secret payload. The launch is scheduled for July 28th and will take place at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Liftoff will occur at 12.37 UTC and the rocket will head eastwards over the ocean as most launchers do since there is always a certain chance for a failure. However, as the tools to check the parts get better, the overall safety increases making spaceflight not only safer but also more affordable. The best indicator for that by the way are the insurance prices. Assuming a total price of let's say 300 million for a rocket and payload, these insurance costs can be as little as 18 million, which was unthinkable just a few years ago. Now since the satellite is top secret as most if not all launching for the NRO, it is a little speculative to talk about it but according to skyrocket.de it could be the fourth generation satellite data system with a codename Quasar. Yes, Quasar like the giant black hole shooting deadly gamma rays. This of course not deadly constellation relays signals from spy satellites to ground stations. Observing the ground is usually done as close to ground as possible while still maintaining a stable orbit just above the Kármán line at 100 km. That limits the horizon immensely which makes such relays necessary. What makes this system special in my opinion is there are not only communication satellites in geosynchronous orbit as usual, some also orbit in a highly elliptic polar orbit like so. Stations at the poles have a very hard time to connect to satellites above the equator because either they have no line of sight and the signal is blocked or the signal barely makes it but gets then damped extremely by the atmosphere it has to penetrate in such a shallow angle. To overcome this issue, multiple satellites are put in such orbits so that at least one is always above the North Pole for example. However, launching to a polar orbit is usually done from Vandenberg so I guess this satellite could most likely be one of those geosynchronous ones. Then again, this could also be completely wrong so please don't quote me on that. Now before I go on, a little shout out to all my patrons. These people are part of my little crowdfunding campaign which is optional but definitely helps. Thanks a lot. Once on its track to a geosynchronous altitude, the upper stage probably won't separate yet. Most secret satellites are directly boosted into a circular orbit to avoid close flybys around our planet where someone could observe them with strong telescopes. So Centaur could start a long coasting phase lasting over an hour which would be followed by the burn close to its apoapsis. In the end the satellite will be released and move to its final position. I'm not sure what will happen to the upper stage but it might at least perform a maneuver to get to a safe distance. Another thing Centaur does is to vent its spare fuel into space. As the temperature increases the pressure inside the tanks rises which would make it rupture at some point and turn Centaur into a debris cloud. Okay, that was a little shorter episode 50 about Atlas V and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.